Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day to everyone This is going to be our second video for tutorial It's going to be a tutorial too So in this tutorial, uh, we are going to uh, to answer some sample problems and uh, apply some of the knowledge that we have learned in the previous lecture Before we proceed with the problems okay so let's have some review on uh, some of the formulas that we have learned so we have the strain due to the bending so we can find the strain the deformations due to the bending we have epsilon x is equal to negative y over rho uh, y is going to be the distance from the point that we want to measure to the neutral axis and then rho is going to be the radius of the curvature and then we have epsilon m, the maximum strain can be calculated by having c which is the maximum distance from the neutral axis to the surface of uh, the beam over rho and then we also have stress due to the bending sigma m which is also called as the elastic flexural formula for sigma m which is equal to mc over i m is going to be the moment c is the distance and i is the sec second moment of area and c over i can also be replaced with s the section modulus and if you want to find the stress at any x position x distant from the neutral axis we can use the equation negative m y over i uh, and then we have the equation for beam section properties uh, S, the section modulus, equal to I over C So this equation can be simplified further And we can use uh, this equation Y over 6 times area over uh, multiply with the height And then we also had to remember the second moment of, second moment of area For rectangle, circle and triangle uh, most of the questions and problems are going to uh, apply the second moment of area of a rectangle so I believe uh, this equation is uh, very simple we can remember it B is the breadth or the width times the height okay. uh, power of 3 over 12 so this is for rectangle and then uh, the equation, the last one is going to be the equation for curvature 1 over rho equal to m over ei So before we proceed with some of the problems okay, uh, I just want to make some revisions, simple revision on what is symmetry So let's say we have a shape of a rectangle So the symmetrical line of a rectangle uh, would be here and here so we should have two symmetrical line for a rectangle of course for square we are going to have four and then for a triangle we should have one okay, only one for uh, let's say beam the shape with a cross section shape like T so we should also have one symmetry line okay and for a circle we are going to get an infinite number of symmetry line so this is going to be infinite so we have two one one so different shapes are going to have different numbers of symmetrical line and some unsymmetrical shape will not have any symmetrical line so uh, this is just uh, kind of revisions after this we are going to apply uh, the symmetrical line knowledge to understand uh, where is the location of the uh, centroid okay so let's take a look at the first problem or the first example so we have a beam structure that have a cross section like as shown here so we have uh, the first part 250 times 38, 25 times 300 and 38 times 150. So we need to find the moment of area 
the total moment of area of this whole cross section and we are given that the equation for total moment of area is basically the sum of all the moment of area of all the parts in that cross section so we can basically divide this cross section into three different parts uh, the easiest way is to divide into three the minimum number of part or component the first part number one the second part in the middle so the third part the bottom part so all parts have a rectangular shape okay one two three uh, and then we are going to calculate, calculate the moment of area for each of these uh, uh, parts part 1, 2, 3 and then plus with the area times the vertical distance from the centroid of the segment to the neutral axis so we have to find the value of D so basically what is D? Okay. Uh, we have uh, the cross section Okay. and of course this cross section will have its own neutral axis and uh, we know that this is uh, we have a one symmetrical line so the okay so the uh, neutral axis or the centroid uh, should exist somewhere along this axis okay axis y and for each part okay or for each component one to three they will have its own own neutral axis Okay, uh, basically in the center or in the middle of, of each part. So part one, this is going to be the uh, center. Part two, this is going to be center. And part three, this is going to be center. But for the whole uh, components, we are going to have the neutral axis Y, in which we need to find first before we can uh, find the value for D for example D1 is going to be the distance from uh, this, uh, the centroid of component or segment 1 to the neutral axis Y so this is going to be D1 and then D2 is the distance between the centroid of segment 2 and D3 are going to be the distance from centroid segment 3 to the uh, neutral axis so this is going to be d3 so how are we going to find the value of y okay so we can easily find the value of value or the distance of the centroid of segment 1 to 3 easily because it is basically half from each of the segment uh, but we need to find the value of y okay, before we can proceed with calculating the uh, or total moment of area uh, of the whole cross section okay so the solution so based on the cross section geometry calculate the location of the section centroid and the moment of initial so the best way to do this is by making a table so let's say we have uh, one table segment 1, 2, and 3 and then we have to find the area let's use uh, let's assume that all the units is in millimeter so the area for segment 1 are going to be for segment 2 the area would be 7500 and the area for segment 3 would be 38 times 150 5700 okay the area so next we need to have the sum of the area okay basically adding all these three segments we are going to get 22700 okay next we need to find the centroid location okay and we are going to base uh, the location of the centroid for each segment based to the bottom of the uh, cross section okay, of course we can also do from the top uh, but for the sake of the example we are going to take the distance from the bottom 
Okay, the first one will be from from here to here. This is going to be y1, and then we have y2 and y3. So y1 are going to be 357. Uh, basically, uh, we just add up the height of the, uh, the third segment plus the height of the second segment plus the height of half of the sec uh, of the first segment and then y2 is going to be 188 and y1 are going to be 19 okay next we need to multiply the centroid with the area and we are going to get 339 5, 1, 4, 1, exponential 4, and the last one, segment 3, 1, exponential 3, and we need to get the sum of all the three segments. Okay, next, to find the value of uh, y, okay, or the neutral axis of the cross section, okay, y, let's use y y bar would be equal to the sum of y bar a divided by the sum of area so we are going to divide these two value and we are going to get 206.3 millimeter so the location of the neutral axis is 216.3 millimeter from the bottom okay and of course, if we uh, use the top uh, surface as our reference, okay, the answer here are going to be from the top. Okay, next we need to find the moment of area. So basically, the moment of area is the sum of all the segment moment of area. AD. So this is also the because we have the segment all is in rectangular shape. So it will be bh cube over 12 plus ad square. So we have three segments. So we are going to need to calculate all three segments. Okay, so let me write it first. For the first segment, uh, and remember d is going to be the distance from each centroid to the neutral axis okay so 140.7 is the distance from the centroid of the first uh, segment to the uh, neutral axis of the whole uh, beam structure so this is for the first segment and then we have the second segment the distance square and the third segment okay and therefore we should get the moment is or we can also write in meter power of 4 we just multiply with exponential 12 so we now have the answer for the uh, moment of initia of the whole beam structure so let's take a look at the next uh, problem sample problem 4.2 uh, this time we have another beam structure but with different shape it's shaped like a T okay let's take the equation a cast iron machine part is acted upon by a 3 kN meter couple so the couple is acting at this point at this direction okay 3 kN meter and we know that uh, E is equal to 165 GPa Young's modulus and neglecting the effect of fillet so basically the one that we have learned in previous topic the fillet at this part where basically we know that concentration stress are going to occur we are going to neglect that effect determine uh, the maximum tensile so first we need to find the maximum tensile and compressive stress okay 
sigma m okay. and then we need to find the radius of the curvature okay. 1 over rho so to solve this equation okay, we are going to follow the step here okay. based on the cross section geometry we are going to calculate the location of the section centroid okay basically first we need to divide this beam structure into two uh, different sections or two different segments and we need to locate calculate the location of the centroid and then we need to calculate the moment of initial okay y and ix and then we can calculate Okay, the maximum tensile and compressive stress using the elastic pressure formula sigma m equal to mc over i so c is going to be the distance from the centroid let's say the centroid is located somewhere here so c this is going to be the c for the tensile and the other one are going to be the C for the compressive. Okay. And then we can calculate the curvature using the same uh, value. Okay. M over us uh, using the same value of M, E and I that we have calculated. Okay. So let's start. So as I mentioned, we are going to uh, separate or divide the uh, beam structure into two segments. The first part, this is the minimum number of segments that we can use. And second part, uh, we can point out at the diagram that the centroid for segment 1 is 50 mm from the bottom and the centroid for segment 2 is 20 mm from the bottom so we need to find the value of the meter that exists y okay we need to find this one again we have to make a table okay first we need to calculate the area for the first segment it is going to be uh, 20 times 90 and then the second segment is uh, 40 times 30 millimeter and you should get 1200 millimeter square and then we have the centroid for each segment segment 1 is 50 and the centroid for segment 2 is 20 let's sum up the area here we should get the total of area is 3000 millimeter thick square and then we multiply the centroid with the area we should get 90 exponential 3 and 24 exponential 3 where the sum are going to be millimeter cube okay millimeter cube and next we can calculate the value of y the the location of the neutral axis by dividing the sum with uh, the sum of this centroids times area with the sum of area and we should get 38 millimeter so here it is 38 millimeter okay so look at uh, the second diagram here so we can find out okay the distance from the centroid of segment 1 to the neutral axis would be 12 so this is going to be D1 and the distance from centroid of segment 2 to the neutral axis are going to be 18 mm this is going to be D2 okay next we need to calculate the moment of area of the whole beam structure so similarly we use the equation of the sum the moment of area is actually the sum of all the segments which is also equal to so we have rectangles so the moment of area for rectangles so we just uh, we substitute all the value that we have and we are going to get 
the moment of area is 168 exponential 3 millimeter over 4 or if we convert to meter it would be exponential minus 9 meter over 4 so this is only the first part of the question we still need to find the maximum tensile and maximum compressive stress using the equation of sigma m equal to mci what we need to do next is to find the value of c so the distance from the top surface where the maximum tensile stress are going to occur from the neutral axis are going to be ca equal to 0 0.0 2 2, mm, 2 2 meter and the distance from the bottom in which the maximum compressive stress are going to occur are going to be uh, defined by CB uh, which is equal to 0 0.038 to the next is just to replace the value into the equation so M is given from the equation 3 kilonewton meter times CA in meter so make sure we stick with the same unit and I is from the previous calculation and we should get sigma A is equal to megapascal and similarly for the compressive stress 3 kN meter times the distance the maximum distance to the bottom the answer is 131.3 megapascal so the plus and negative uh, sign uh, would be to symbolize uh, the stress uh, whether it is in compressive or in tension so next we can calculate the curvature Again, similarly, we just need to substitute into the equation. So, 3 kN gigapascal. 1 over rho is 20 point meter negative 1. Reverse the fraction, we should get the rho is 47.7 meter. So, we know that. Uh, in this diagram here the distance from the uh, neutral axis okay where the curvature happened to the center of the curvature of the beam which is defined by rho would be 47.7 meter so let's take a look at the next problem uh, again we have a beam but this time it is in uh, different cross section uh, so we have a couple shown x in a vertical plane so in this direction m equal to 15 kilometer meter determine the stress at point a and point b so where is point a uh, point a here at this part and point b so we know that it is at this location at the most uh, the maximum distance from the centroid Let's try to answer this question. So looking at the cross section of the beam, okay, uh, it is a rectangle and the shape has two symmetrical line. Therefore, we can easily say that the center of, uh, sorry, the neutral axis of the cross section are going to be located at exact half from the height of the cross section. So it is going to be located at 60 millimeter from the bottom or from the top. The question asks us to find the stress at point A and point B. So we are going to use uh, the fractional formula sigma m equal to uh, mc over i. But uh, we need to find the value of i. Okay, so let's calculate or let's find the value of I first. So we have a rectangle. So for rectangle, 
we know that i is equal to bh cube over 12 we can divide the cross section of the beam by having the outer triangle which is this part the outer part and then the inner triangle okay the inner part that we are going to omit or we are going to subtract from the whole equation so let's start with the outer rectangle let's give it number one i1 are going to be 80 so we should get millimeter and we can convert to meter it would be and then we have the inner rectangle where we are going to cut or subtract from the from the whole cross section so we name it as a cut out this time we use i2 okay it is going to be this this part here so the dimension would be 40 and convert to meter we should get 1.70 so for the cross section itself the set the moment of area are going to be the deduction of i1 with i2 so we are going to deduct this value with this value and we should get 9 okay so we have the value of i okay we also have the value for m the moment Okay, next we need to find the distance from the point that we want to calculate the stress to the neutral axis. So, easily we know that uh, point A is located here. So, the neutral axis is here. So, the distance are going to be 40 millimeter. How about B? So B is going to be at the maximum distance which is 60 millimeter. So we have both distance. So we can calculate. Let's start with point A. Okay, the distance is 40 millimeter right in meter 0 0.04 meter. Calculate the stress at point A is given by the equation m the distance from the neutral axis ya over the moment of area so we know that this is going to be a compressive okay, because the direction of the tens uh, the direction of the moment is upward and the upper part of this is going to be uh, compressive and the lower part are going to have tensile and we just substitute the value we and we should get stress at point A is equal to megapascal. Okay, next for point B, similarly we have the distance is already known 0 0.06 meter. Again using the same formula. Okay, this time we know that it is under compression so m y b over i without negative and the stress at point b are going to be 91.7 megapascal okay so finish with the problems 4.3 Okay, so problems, we uh, understand that other than calculating or other than dividing the cross section of the beam into different uh, segments okay, and then adding all the moment of area of the segment, we can also do subtraction of the moment of area. Okay, so we can uh, easily subtract the cut out 
in the middle of uh, the cross section. Okay, you can also try different approach. Maybe you want to divide into maybe three different part or four different part. One, two, three, and four. Which I think is also interesting to try. Okay, where the the part here are going to have the same centroid basically. Let's proceed to the next question. Problems 4.4. So this time we have uh, different shape of cross section. The beam structure has like a H shape. If you look at the side, it looks like, like I. And uh, the beam is extruded from an aluminum alloy in which the yield stress is 250 megapascal. 250 megapascal and the ultimate stress is 450 megapascal. Uh, using the factor of safety of 3, determine the largest couple that can be applied to the beam when it is bent about the z axis. So we need to find the value of the couple, the moment mz, okay, the moment that is being applied at the z axis. Okay, and the dimension is given here 24. 80, 24. So this is uh, very simple. We have this have two symmetrical line, and we know that the set this neutral axis are going to be located at the center of the beam structure. Okay, at, and it is already uh, noted by C, which is uh, half from the height. Okay, let's try solving this this problem okay so we already know that the the centroid is half from the height of the beam structure so now let's uh, let's start work by calculating the allowable stress the allowable stress because in the equation okay uh, the question asks to find the largest couple that can be applied. So we are going to refer to the allowable stress that can be that can be withhold by the uh, structure. So the allowable stress, okay, based from the safety factor and the ultimate stress, and we are going to get that the allowable stress is only at one hundred fifty megapascal. So compared to the yield stress, it is at 250 megapascal. So the allowable stress is much lower than the yield stress. So we can also write in Pascal. Okay. And then we need to find the moment of inertia, the moment of area I for the whole beam structure. And to do that, we are going to separate uh, the beam structure into three different segments, one, two, and three. Okay, one, two, and three. So let's start with the first segment, I1. Okay, we are going to use uh, BHQ over 12 because all the segments have a rectangular shape. millimeter per four and basically this is the same for i3 okay both have the same dimension and then i2 and the total moment of area for the whole structure are going to be given by the equation the same see this is the same equation Okay, we have I plus AD square, but in this case, okay, because the distance or the centroid for each segment uh, is basically located at exact location of the centroid, so we are going to have the distance D here are going to be equal to zero. Okay, so what we have left is just 
the sum of the moment of initial of each of each uh, segment and we should get next we need to find the stress we know that the maximum stress mc over i okay where the c uh, is actually half from the height half from the height which is 80 so it is going to be 0 0.04 meter therefore we can find the couple or the bending moment m i sigma over c so we are going to use the value of i that we have calculated times the allowable stress that we have divided with the c the value of c which is the maximum distance from the centroid to the upper or the lower surface and we should get the answer is 5.28 or we can rewrite m is equal to 5.28 Kilo meter meter. So this is going to be the final answer. Okay, so we have done uh, four different questions, and for each question, we have used a different approach. Uh, we have different cross section of the beam structure. Okay, the first one. Uh, it's very straightforward. We have example of I, okay, where we need to add up all the uh, moment of area of all the segment, okay, using this equation. Using this equation here, okay, and then uh, we apply the same method to the second problem. Okay, using the same equation, I plus AD square. And then the third problem, we use different approach where we subtract uh, the outer rectangle with the cutout in the, in the middle to obtain the moment of area of the section, uh, area of the cross section. Okay, using this equation. And the problem number four, we use uh, the same equation like problem one and two, but because the centroid for each segment is located uh, at the same position of the neutral axis, so we can simplify the equation where we only have to sum up the moment of area of the segment. Um, that's it for our tutorial 2 okay, we are going to continue with the next video on lecture 3 thank you